Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you to trust yourself. No matter what's going on around you, outside of you, even within you. Trust what you're experiencing. Trust what you understand to be happening. Because only in doing so can you understand more about the perspective that you take along the journey. I say this from my own personal experience. I do not have all the answers. I'm grateful if I have some. But there have been times, uh, even more recently, I had a conversation with somebody and I told them about how I had a particular dream and the dream was so realistic that it woke me up at the end. I was uh, frustrated, if you will. But I didn't, I didn't fully understand it. I thought I did, but I didn't fully understand it. So that morning I woke up, went about my day, and later on in the day, I watched the dream play out right in front of me. So much so that when I realized what was happening, I laughed. You know, the people I was interacting with, they, they didn't think nothing of it. They just ignore me. I didn't care. Because for the first time, I understood what something within me was telling me. And I trusted it. I said, okay, I don't know what fully, did. I don't know what that dream was about, but I know there's something to it. Because it invoked an emotion in me. And we have all types of dreams. I'm not saying every dream is to be treated that way. But I'm sharing that story because as I revisited that dream last week when I was having this discussion with somebody, I realized the power in following our, going with our gut, following our intuition, if you will. Because even if someone else doesn't share that same perspective of under or understanding, at least we understand more of what's happening within us. And that serves us along our journey. Now, I bring up that story because shortly after having that conversation last week, this thing happened again two times. I had these random dreams about people I don't even interact with, don't, I have nothing to do with. But almost instantaneously, one dream played out within 48 hours. The other dream took four days. But when I seen it play out, I laughed. Because once again, I trusted what I saw. I did not fully understand it, but it was almost like a heads up. And I'm grateful for these moments because it allows me to not fall for the traps that I used to fall for before. That allowed me to have gratitude for some of the things that I've experienced, uh, some of the people that I've experienced and some of the environments I've experienced, even some of the beliefs that I held that I experienced. And I realized we're foolish. See, the more that I trust myself along this journey, I give myself grace when I misstep or take the, the incorrect path or the incorrect move. It's fine. And simply correct. But the only way I was able to give myself that kind of grace was in knowing that I trust in me. I trust in my perspective. I trust in what I know I'm witnessing or I'm engaging with or I'm experiencing. When I had the least amount of trust in myself. No matter what situation I look at, that's when the element of regret came about because something in me always knew what needed to be said, what needed to be done, what needed to be handled. So the more I go on my journey, the more I trust myself. This is not about me sharing a bunch of stories about myself. It's a reminder that just as I have uh, certain obstacles 
or see me obstacles that I placed in my own way to stop me from trusting myself. I'm sure each and every one of us have those. So it's a reminder to trust in what you believe. Trust in what you see. Somebody treats you a certain way, good, bad, or indifferent. Trust in what you perceive. And allow that to unfold. Meaning, there will be some times where we trust in ourselves and we see, oh, okay, I believed and I trusted in myself. The outcome wasn't what I expected. I could have handled it differently. That's not a failure. It allows you to understand uh, where opportunity for shifting a perspective is for you. The beauty in it is building a relationship with yourself so that you trust yourself. You're not always going to be correct. I'm not always correct. Made peace with that a long time ago. But the more that you trust yourself, the more you can say, you know what? This might not so well with everybody, but it makes sense to me. So that's what I'm going to lean on. The more you do that, the more peace you find within yourself. And the more that you find that peace within yourself, you will not only have an amazing amount of trust in yourself, but you'll also be able to see when others don't trust themselves. Now, when I seen this play out more recently in one of the dreams that I told you, uh, it was interesting. The dream gave me a heads up of somebody uh, wanting to reach out to me that I don't, I don't communicate with them at all. They want to reach out to me. And in this dream, we had some kind of rapport, but I'm knowing that this is not reflected in my waking life. Even while I'm in the dream, I understood that in this world, this world that we call real, that this dream doesn't make sense. And then when this person reached out to me, I laughed. I ignored him, but I laughed. Because what once would work on me had no effect. When I didn't trust myself, they were able to play certain games and manipulate me in a certain way. But the more that I trust myself, I'm able to see through it. I mean, I'm able to see past it so much so that I feel bad for the individual because I realize that their their way of operating on their journey is a form of manipulation, not trusting themselves. But more they don't trust themselves. But what was most interesting about not only this individual, but uh, some others I've come across is they find peace in creating doubt in other people. See, if they can always get someone to doubt or a majority of time get somebody else to doubt what they believe, then why would they even question them? The things you learn on this journey. I share these elements of what I've experienced over this past uh, week or two to remind you to trust yourself. That's it. Because there will be times that that's the only person that's going to believe you. It's a hard pill to swallow at times. But if you know that you can trust yourself, you're in good company. Own that. To love it, be grateful for it. Because the more you sit in that place, that comfortable place with yourself of knowing, yeah, it's a tough lesson to learn, but you learned it. You see it. And you understand yourself more. You understand what your inner you is telling you. Some people say intuition. Sometimes it's a physical response that you don't even understand or, or just ignore for so long you don't even realize it's still there. But the more you trust yourself, the more you pick up on those, those gentle nudges. We could say it's from God, universe, the inner self, the higher self, whatever works for you. But believe it. And even in times where you believe it and you see that all oh, that may, that, that belief or that thought might need some tweaking. 
or maybe I see a better way and I can operate with that. Oh, that's fine. But it shows that you're allowing a part of you to grow and you're growing more into yourself. Nobody can take that away from you. So if anything, give it to yourself. Trust yourself. Until next time, most importantly, please don't forget to smoke.